Sorry about this, folks. Yeah, hello, everybody. Uh, great to see such a good crowd here today. Uh, my name is Mark Rafferty, and I'm one of the owners of uh, Linked Finance. Uh, what Linked Finance is, is we are basically the only crowdfunding peer-to-peer -peer, uh, alternative for SMEs here in Ireland. Um, um, I guess one thing I saw in the paper yesterday that has relevance uh, to this group, even though uh, we are in the uh, Chartered Accountants of Ireland, uh, the CPA yesterday announced, uh, had a report and a photo shoot with Joan Burton, and uh, they were announcing a report on SMEs and how SMEs are looking at everything and their financial advisors, every alternative across all the functions of an SME, be it marketing, finance, sales, uh, and everything like that. And that's where I think the focus of uh, this meeting here today is on finance, alternatives that are available. Uh, as everybody's kind of spoken about, uh, we do need the banks. In Ireland, SMEs uh, by tradition have about a 90% uh, need for all their financial needs for banks. When you look at the US, Holland and Germany, it tends to be more around the 50 or 60%. So I think as the country is continuing to grow at the moment, uh, uh, advisors and SME owners need to look at all alternatives they have available uh, for them. Also in the papers all during the week has been quite a lot about crowdfunding, not just us at Link Finance, but crowdfunding in all its guises, in, including us at peer-to-peer -peer lending. Um, what I wanted to kind of uh, say about that is our alternative um, is the public. So what we're saying is uh, there's five million people in Ireland. Um, they have a vested interest in the SME group as it employs almost 98% of all, all of them. So uh, they have a vested interest in the SMEs doing well because they're employed in them, and that's where crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending comes in. So I'm just going to show a quick video, a quick presentation, and then I've brought one of our SME uh, owners with us, and uh, he can talk a little bit about why he's using Link Finance. Ever since the banks took down our economy, They've been telling us, we want to lend to businesses. We have credit. We've turned a corner. But for all their talk, no one is lending to businesses. And the only corner we've turned looks like this. So where is the money going to come from to restart the Irish economy? What can you do with your money that could make a difference? Well, you could stick it under a mattress. But that's not going to get you a return or get the economy back on its feet. You could put it in a bank. If you could find a bank you could trust. But if they're not lending or giving you a fair return, that's just as useless as sticking it under your own mattress, maybe even worse. Or you could put your money to good use and do something that can make a real difference, and at the same time, get a decent return on your investment. Investment is the lifeblood of business. And if enough ordinary people like you back hardworking, ambitious businesses with good ideas, they will be able to grow and employ people and spend money with other businesses and get our economy moving again. Each business is assessed and validated as credit worthy before they can post their business request on linked finance. This gives investors the comfort that they will have the best chance of receiving a healthy return on their money. Businesses deemed unsuitable are screened out of the process. To see the range of businesses want to lend, visit linkfinance.com, review the companies, and then bid how much you want to lend, and at what interest rate. You don't have to lend much. The average transaction is 50 to 70 euro, and you will be repaid with interest and 36 monthly repayments. Each auction runs for 10 days, and the business then accepts the best bids, thereby receiving a loan at the average rate of bids they accept. There are a wide variety of interesting businesses of all sizes for you to lend, so you can spread your risk, maximizing your returns, and at the same time choose to help the ones you really want to succeed. This is people power at its best. Crowdfunding is already a proven success and a growing phenomenon around the world. In fact, over 2.8 billion euro was invested in 2012. 
That's a lot. 50 euro notes by passing the banks. When you let, you'll receive regular updates from the companies. You'll feel good knowing you're making something happen, and you'll receive monthly repayments from capital and interest at the rate you have bid. At Link Finance, if enough of us lend a little each, we can change the face of the business landscape. We can get a constant stream of successful businesses up and running and help get the country back working again. And we can turn the corner they've all been talking about for so long. Remember, just 50 euro of your money that's no good to anyone under a mattress or in some bank could be the start of it. Join us now at linkfinance.com. Uh, thanks everyone for watching that. Um, two things of notes as any financial advisors in the room, what's probably quite unique about Link Finance is we have something you can speak to your clients about, be they on the lender side or be they SMEs uh, uh, that you're working with on the borrower side. So I think Link Finance is probably poignant for you guys on uh, both of those counts. Uh, the other main thing about Link Finance is we're a real alternative to the banks. There's plenty of things out there for startups and uh, those kind of ideas, but we are help helping established SMEs in existence at least two years. The traditional SMEs that would have gone to the banks, they are the SMEs we're helping with finance. Um, so just go through uh, a few specifics about it. Uh, we believe this is the future of business lending globally and in Ireland. Um, as I said before, we're pretty, at the moment, we're Ireland's only peer-to-peer -peer lending platform for SMEs. People might be familiar with other crowdfunding models for creative projects or for startups or ideas, things like Fundit, Kickstart or Crowdcube. But Link Finance, we're here as an alternative to SMEs. Um, pretty much it works uh, very simply. We're the platform in the middle of two things. Uh, these two things are 189,000 SMEs all looking for finance to grow their businesses. And on the other side, uh, the general public that has 92 billion euros in deposit and savings accounts earning less than 1% in the banks. What we're trying to do is bring a per these two groups together to fund the growth of the Irish economy. Um, always interesting is who we are, where you kind of have an interesting background that ties in with a, a a little bit from earlier, we are actually uh, a couple of SME owners and entrepreneurs that got together and, and saw this as, as the future for SME. So we come from that background. We've obviously hired in the financial expertise as well. And we're a high potential startup through Enterprise Ireland in 2012. And we're just about to go into the next phase of our growth after a year of trading. We also have Kingsley Aikens as our chairman and a couple of uh, well-known advisors on our uh, committee as well. So. That's uh, pretty much who we are. Um, what do we do? It all sounds very fancy, crowdfunding, peer-to-peer -peer lending, everything like that, but basically what we provide is loans to SMEs between five and 50,000 euros. So microfinancing for SMEs. That 50,000 will probably go up to 100,000 in the next month or two uh, as demand and, uh, grows and lenders are continuously joining the site. So if you have any uh, kind of uh, SMEs who need that kind of money, uh, we're here for them. Um, the interest rate between five and 15%, I can't tell you what the loan will be. The lenders will decide. Thousands of lenders will look at this SME and they'll read their business profile, which we put on our site. They'll have a look at some of their financials, and they will decide whether they want to put money in at 8%, 9%, 10%, 6%. So I would just say that enough people looking at a business on uh, uh, the rate they get is probably a fair reflection of the business. Uh, all our loans at the moment are over 36 months, but we will be launching new products, five-year loans, shorter-term uh, finance as well. Um, they're unsecured and have no early settlement fees, so technically they're anywhere between one month and 36 uh, uh, months in duration. Um, what have we done so far since we launched? We've helped about 150 SMEs across all different sectors and across pretty much uh, geographically in almost every county. Um, the average loan has been 28,000 so far. and uh, We have over 7,000 registered lenders. These are members of the public um, and that's growing by a couple of hundred every week. As the kind of animation at the start said, uh, people can put in as much as from 50 to 2,000 euros in any one loan. 
and those amounts are getting bigger as lenders are seeing that Link Finance is vetting these businesses very well with their ability to repay and this is a good lending investment for them. So I would have said this time last year the average uh, lender was putting in a couple of hundred euros into Link Finance and putting 100 or 200 into each loan. The average lender on Link Finance now is probably putting about 5,000 euros into Link Finance and about 500 euros into about 10 different loans and diversifying their portfolio. Um, these loans come in, as I said, average is 28 grand. Um, usually that's about 247 lenders. So that means lenders are reading about your business, looking at the financials, and they're deciding that they like your business for whatever reason, personal, they just like the sector, they're looking at the accounts and they see it's solid, whatever it might be, and they're uh, going into the loans. The average rate across the board is, is 8.7 unsecured lending, very competitive for this kind of uh, uh, what we call working capital type uh, uh, loans. Um, we've had ones come in at uh, five and a half, six percent, and we've had ones come in at 10, 11, and 12 percent. Um, it, it is what it is when enough people read about your business, it's probably a fair reflection. Sorry, just going back to this slide, our key role at Link Finance is to be, uh, we have a duty of care to our lenders. So our key role is to vet the businesses that come on the site with ability to repay. Our goal is to keep default rates down to 1.5% as we grow, and as of yet we've had no defaults. So our lenders are starting to discover over our first year in business that we are putting up really good businesses that are growing SMEs, that have good ability to repay, and we've had no defaults yet. So we're going to continue that uh, policy. Um, just to give a couple of examples, uh, a lot of times at these kind of finance events you hear a lot about cloud uh, computing, uh, apps, all these kind of startups. You know, here at Link Finance, you know, we're helping the everyday SME that you see every day that you engage with. So here's a, just a couple of Dublin examples. Lolly and Cooks just around the corner there, if anyone knows them. They were going from two locations to three locations. They needed some co-funding to go in with on the bank, and our lenders provided 35,000 for them. Then they went to the bank and got 65, and they opened up their new location. Angle Security, not all the businesses on Link Finance have to be very hands-on. This is you know, a very good business, but I guess you'd call it, you know, it's not that glamorous, I guess. Angle Security, again, new stock, their business is growing. They're putting in alarms and CCTV. The bank's not responding to them. They come, the crowd funds them and they get to tell these crowd lenders about their business as well. Fitness companies, we've done a number of fitness companies. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of Evo Fitness again, going from his second location to his third. He needs equipment. You know, he wants to spend 25 grand on a new gear for his uh, new premises. Our lenders help them. And Green Air Bikes, just around the corner, legitimately 50 seconds, and uh, Olivier from Green Air will, uh, will speak just at the end of mine and just give you an example of why borrowers and SMEs are kind of using our service. Um, the types of SMEs we can help, we help all types of SMEs, like I kind of said, all these different sectors, we don't care what sector they're in, once they have an ability to repay and they're looking to grow their business. Um, who is the borrower? Uh, we say we help the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker. And I think that was a photo shoot we did last year that got a lot of coverage. And those three, uh, we have done loans to those three borrowers, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and everyone knows what that building is there. Um, like everything that's online, the place to learn more is to go to the website linkfinance.com. Very simple, L lenders and borrowers. And uh, if you create an account, you'll be able to go into the marketplace and you'll be able to look at the loans. I think there's five live loans today. You'll be able to go in, read about the business, have a look at their top level accounts and make a decision whether you want to lend into them. Uh, that's just the marketplace as it stands today. Uh, you know, Dublin, Cork, Wexford covered there, the, all different types of sectors. So those loans are looking for funding right now. We have so many lenders at the moment that every loan gets funded. It's just a matter of how much oversubscribed it gets and at what rate. Um, why can this be a, a good alternative? We believe for this type of finance, there's two things you need. You need uh, uh, a good rate, but even more importantly as an SME, when you're working with your SME owners, you need a decision quick. I think Mark was speaking about it earlier. The last thing you want to do, uh, the guy who was trying to buy the lathe machine or latte machine, you know, he was dealing with a guy in Germany. The guy's calling him. He's saying, yeah, I'm going to buy it. I just need a bank to get back to me. Um, and that went on for, I think, six or seven weeks, according to Mark. So 
Now, what we promise is 48-hour decision-making, so at least you know where you stand. And I think when you're an SME, that's the most important thing. Um, the types of business loans we do, we're looking for SMEs that are looking to sustain where they are and grow. And what I found, uh, being an SME owner myself, is what you're always looking for is working capital, stock, new equipment, sales and marketing drives, new hires, turning part-time hires into full-time, things that are growing your business. Could be buying new vehicles, anything like that that helps grow your business. Um, probably important for anyone who's working with SMEs, we do our due diligence just like a bank, to be honest, but we do it in 48 hours. We're looking for filed accounts, bank statements, tax clearance cert. Um, we do an Irish Credit Bureau, and uh, these are the things uh, we check. Uh, we do it within 48 hours. We're just about to really grow our business in the next couple of years. We're going to be hiring a lot of what we call onboarders, and the reason we're going to do that is this commitment of turning around your documents to approval or decline within 48 hours is key to our business. Um, just if anyone does own a small business or has or knows, they'll know there's only two things you really want in small business. You want finance to grow your business and you want new customers. And the beauty, I guess, about this kind of funding is you don't just uh, get the finance like you would off another organization, but you get to a chance to engage with your current customers and potentially new customers. Um, and turn these customers and these potential customers into advocates and salespeople for your business. And Olivier will probably talk a little bit about that and how he made that work for him with his business. But basically, of course, you know, social media, you have to be doing it if you're in business. So when someone goes live on our website, we engage with their social media following and we portray their business to our social media following through uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. So this company that's borrowing from this crowd of people is also exposing their business and why it's a great business to this crowd of people. So it's cooperative banking at its core using technology. Um, a lot of people hear about crowdfunding and think, yeah, it's a really nice idea. I think I did a, you know, a friend CD on Funded or I did a little project on Kickstarter. It's kind of cute. It's niche. I'm just going to tell you how big uh, crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending is. Funding Circle in the UK do quite similar to what we do here in Ireland. Uh, Link Finance, we built the technology. We're all Irish, uh, so uh, we're nothing to do with them. But give you an idea. They're up at almost 400 million uh, this year in terms of lending. They also have the UK government in behind them now, uh, supporting some of the loans on the site. So they, in the UK, it's been seen as a real provider of uh, uh, finance for SMEs. Even the government over there is finding it the most uh, effective way to get finance into uh, the SME sector. Lending Club, of course, in the US, it's always bigger. Um, they've done five billion. And just to give you an idea about how big that's going to be, uh, their biggest shareholder uh, is Google. So I always think that's the bottom line. Uh, I lived in California for a number of years. I've worked in technology as well. As far as I'm concerned, Google will get into everything, and they will get into finance. And the way they're going to get into finance is through crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending. Uh, our three-year plan uh, at Link Finance isn't at that €5 billion Euro, uh, level, but what we have just uh, ramped up our finance to achieve is in the next three years, we plan on helping 5,000 SMEs here in Ireland to the tune of about €200 million. Euros. We believe that helps sustain and uh, grow jobs by about 10,000 jobs in this sector. And eventually we plan on bringing on institutional lenders and pension funds as well. Uh, you know, we started off with just small lenders on the site. Those amounts are getting bigger, and we see quite soon uh, a pension and institutional money coming into these loans as well. Um, and I rocked this report uh, earlier this year recommending uh, moves for the government to uh, stimulate the SME sector has a section in it on crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending where they advocate following the UK model of... Uh, uh, government or government agency investing in some of these loans is an efficient way to help SMEs and also a tax break uh, for people who are willing to lend uh, into these loans. At the moment they, you're lending into Link Finance's tax set income. Uh, we believe there should be an incentive to stimulate the SME sector for the lenders as well in terms of the tax break. Um, the easiest way to follow Link Finance 
is to go in. We're going to run a competition for anyone who signs up today, and we'll let you know about that in the next 48 hours, of course. Uh, uh, just put in, if you're registering, just put in the word accounts, and we'll have a draw, and we'll, uh, we'll announce the prize winner, and maybe we'll put it on that uh, video uh, that we were told about earlier on. But when you register at Link Finance, you'll get updates, but it also allows you to go into the marketplace and click on it, these individual businesses. We're not taking lenders' money and pooling it and putting it in their SMEs. Lenders are deciding on a case-by-case -case basis. Maybe they like businesses in Cork. That's it. Maybe they like businesses only in the food sector. Maybe they don't care as long as they're getting 8.5% return. It's all their decision. All the transparency is there. It's for them to decide which SMEs they want to support. Um, the final part of what I'm going to do is uh, Olivier is from Green Air. Uh, he'll tell you a little bit about his business. Um, and he's just around the corner, so he kindly uh, said he'd come and just say, I guess, a few words about, how it, what, about his business and then maybe why he looked at crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, I suppose we're a typical uh, lender for Linked Finance. Uh, Mark approached us about two years ago uh, with Linked Finance. We were one of the first uh, to, to borrow through the platform, and we were instantly uh, uh, attracted by the, the whole proposition. Uh, it's completely different to the approach of going to a bank. You never really boast about going to get a loan at the bank. And uh, in any, if anything, it's, a, it's, it's, it's something that you dread a little bit because uh, you, you're usually welcomed with a stone face that bears, bears, barely tells you uh, the sort of uh, interest rate that you'll, uh, you'll be repaying. Um, in, in this case, it was a, a proactive approach by, by Mark, uh, who I knew as an entrepreneur. So uh, I knew that he was asking the right questions. I knew that he was engaged with uh, what we were doing and, and had, a, had an interest in, uh, in making it work for us and see if, uh, from a finance point of view, we could be getting some help. So um, we went on to buy, uh, so, so our activity is based on uh, distributing and uh, selling direct mostly uh, electrically assisted bicycles, uh, cargo bikes, folding bikes, and uh, to some extent uh, electric car maintenance. But uh, everything to do with smart transport, and I invite you all to come to the store uh, when you have a break later on to, to see the wonderful machines we have. Uh, but one of the key things for us to, to sell bikes is to get people to trial them out uh, and, and see that, that, that it actually is a suitable uh, proposition for their commute. And in order to do that, you need a fleet of bikes that you can rent out, uh, and, and that will obviously put some, um, some mileage on. Um, and, and so it was just really a, a stocking loan. Uh, we, we just package it as a, as a fleet. Um, and, and it's important when you go to Link Finance to create a bit of a story uh, so that the, the lenders understand the reason why you're coming to the platform, not just that you need cash because you're a dying business, but uh, you need cash because you, you need to, to grow and, and uh, go places uh, faster than, than you're at, uh, at the moment. So, so we did so, and the whole process is, is very engaging. Uh, we broadcasted the, uh, the loan to all our customers. Uh, a lot of customers are looking for ways to support us because they believe in what we're doing. They just don't have a platform to do so. Uh, so we found that afterwards uh, or, or, or during, a lot of customers went onto the platform and anonymously just uh, you know, put 250 euros towards Green Air. They're already clients or aspiring clients and, uh, and, and, and got on board with, uh, with, with the story and, and with us. And we saw them afterwards in, uh, in trade shows saying, oh, by the way, I've, 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 lent, uh, I've lent to your business on, on, on Link Finance. We gave them a discount because we, we like the to be backed up by, by people who believe in us. And, and so it creates a, a bond between uh, the lender and the borrower, something that obviously will never happen in, uh, in traditional banking. So for all these reasons, it's been uh, an incredible success uh, for, from, from what we've seen. Uh, we've got a lot of PR out of it too, which is uh, um, obviously has a, a lot of value. Um, and, uh, and, and beyond that, I think the success of peer-to-peer -peer lending is, is simply, I, I have a lot of friends that have other companies, uh, SMEs that you know, turn over the same sort of amount that, that we do, and, uh, and they all have uh, financial requirements, and no one is excited about going to their banks. Uh, I mean, we've changed manager maybe four times uh, in the space of uh, five years. Uh, we've never really received a phone call. It's, 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 
it's, it's a completely different approach and, and we value the, the, the proactive approach that, uh, that Link Finance has had with us. Uh, so I just recommend it to, to all of our uh, uh, SME uh, friends, uh, uh, owners of, of SMEs uh, to, to, go, to go for that sort of solution. So uh, um, yeah, that's, that's really uh, our experience. Uh, the, the loan was fulfilled by over 200%. So as far as we're concerned, it was a, a great success. We got a lower interest rate than uh, what the bank would have given us. So it was around 6.75%. And, um, and, and we made a lot of noise about it. So all the, all the boxes were ticked. And uh, we're certainly reconsidering going for a, a round two uh, in the near future as, as we're growing, because our, our business has been growing about 40% last year. So, uh, so it's, it's on track to go, to, to go places. So um, yeah, we're delighted to be uh, partnered with uh, Link Finance, because it really feels like a, like a partnership. That's great. Thanks, Mark, and Link Finance. Um, I think it just shows you once you start to think and look at other options and really think outside of traditional banking and funding uh, applications and, and having a live uh, client here as well, explaining how simple it was, how natural it was, uh, building relationships. Um, I, think it's, I think it's an excellent uh, example of, of what SMEs need to do and also financial advisors need to do when they're thinking about alternative forms of finance.